Wow! How about that for a day here? This is Brian Kuzmar from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in sunny Lauderdale by the sea. And if you were wondering why I did that massive explosion video, it's because, wow, what a... Biggest explosions. Biggest explosions history. in our history. So, <laughs> as you heard that thing say right there. So, let's see what happened. What was the explosion? Well, $23 update in gold is a pretty damn good explosion, I would say. eighteen forty one fifty one, And uh, that's the world spot price still open. Hanging about where New York closed at 1842. Really wide range here today. No, actually, I shouldn't say wide range. 1831 to 1843. But still, nice healthy jump for gold. 2650. And again, the aftermarkets are still showing strength. And uh, you know really who that explosion was for? That is for silver. Holy smokes, this is just amazing. It didn't even stop through the 20s. I think this morning it just sailed right through 20. Look, New York closed at 2150. I mean, we were talking yesterday, what, 19, the high 19s or something like that, thinking it was going to touch on the 20 or the 20 or something, very 20, but it just blew right through there. Holy smokes, $1.49, that's incredible. Uh, uh, wow, I don't even... I, you don't see that very often. I was expecting maybe some pullbacks, but silver is just really, I don't think there's any pullbacks right now. And if you do, it'll probably be a pretty heavy one, but it won't last long again. I keep talking about that pullback, but we haven't seen it. And as I told you, don't expect it necessarily either. Just keep buying. You're probably okay at these levels. Remember, silver hit an all-time high of $50. It's uh, almost getting to that halfway point, though. At 25 bucks, it's a halfway to its high. So, I mean, wow, what a performer silver's been this year. I mean, it's it low as $13 an ounce or something to that uh, price range. And uh, now we're sitting looking at 22 coming from 22 So silver did rocket right through there. And uh, let's take a look at platinum here. 1880, up 32 bucks too, kind of like gold. What a great day for platinum. And uh, close a little higher in New York, though. It looks like uh, uh, quite a bit higher, $30 higher in New York. So backed off a little bit, but that's nonsense. I'd love to buy platinum at this level right here, but I don't think it's possible. Uh, palladium, surprised the living whatever out of me. Palladium at uh, 2150 You know, I got to thinking about palladium, though. You know, maybe with the price of gold and silver and platinum going up, palladium wasn't necessarily going to fall back that far. Maybe it's... Uh, just kind of uh, was playing catch up a little bit, or just kind of hanging at that level, but not today. Look at that, seventy-eight dollar update, eighty, you know, set almost eighty dollar update, hundred dollars uh, on the world spot prices. Uh, so pretty, uh, pretty admirable performance by Palladium. Again, a metal we don't sell much of. I think I bought an ounce from a guy this week, a young guy that uh, did make some money on Palladium, and uh, but again, we we buy and sell so little of it, and so do other precious metals. Uh, that we don't talk about it that much. But what a great day for Palladium. But silver, silver the real champion here. And still way underpriced in my opinion. Uh, but however, do this ratio here, the silver to gold ratio, tightening up there really nice. I think when we get back to a respectable ratio, silver should be closer to uh, 25 and gold would be around this price. But uh, uh, I think you're going to see gold going up, silver going up. Uh, breaking 2000 by the end of the year and, and gold, that's a no-brainer. Let's just see how much further we go beyond that, and that's my opinion. And silver, uh, you know, I'm always a little bit nervous about silver. you got to have a strong stomach when you, when you own silver. But wow, like I said, I think she's just kind of heading into different territory right now, and perhaps uh, there is a big, giant silver shortage out there. And not perhaps. I'm dead certain of it. There is a large uh, deficit of physical silver available in coins and bars out there. So I think we're starting to see the process. Silver ETFs, silver contracts, not rare in any way, shape, or form at all. But real silver in the form of coins and bars seems to be pretty damn rare because it is trading at a big premium over this as well. Uh, palladium, I mean platinum, uh, 880, like I said, all great, all great. Let's take a look and see what the Wall Street Journal says. And you know, I, I, I looked at this, I said, well, you know, and the price of gold and silver and everything jumping up really high today, I bet you it has something to do with this. EU, $2 trillion spending plan. So they're just going full tarred, uh, pardon the expression, but they're just going full out uh, stupid, you know, which is probably a better term because uh, stupid is uh, stupid. Uh, Anyways, a $2 trillion spending plan uh, to bail out an economy that they absolutely, absolutely destroyed with this virus and their knee-jerk reactions uh, reacting to this virus. So uh, 
There you go. There's two idiots right there. Pardon my expression. <laughs> Sorry, just my opinion. But anyway, they destroyed the economy. Now they're going to even destroy the EU currency even worse. $2 trillion. But, you know, they're in a rock in a hard place. I think if they don't give people money, they're afraid they're going to be tarred, feathered, or hung. And there's probably some truth to that, the way the environment's going. So this had probably had a lot to do with the price of gold and, and silver and metals getting kicked, uh, kicked higher today. I'm pretty certain of that. Uh, but we didn't see that yesterday. And let's see what happens tomorrow. Uh, other things in Wall Street Journal. What happened to the Dow? Oh, there goes the Dow. 26.840. No, not really. It's kind of hanging on to that high 26 range. Uh, however, it looks like it backed off a little bit here. And again, I'm not a stock expert, and I don't know how we tie in stocks and, and gold, but usually sometimes they work uh, in the same direction, sometimes they don't. Uh, six months ago, really not too much here to talk about. What other articles out here? Uh, uh, Zero Hedge, love them, hate them. You really have to read each article on your own and, and, and use some brain in it. Some of it's nonsense. Some of it's actually great information. Uh, some people hate this site, but uh, I like it because it gives you a lot of information that you're not going to read in most corporate news. And again, you have to read between the lines. That's my suggestion. Uh, gold soars, euro roars. I like this. As a dollar dumps and stocks slump. Uh, I think the only reason I showed you this is because <laughs> I like the headline. Anyways, uh, let's kind of move along from here. Really, that's about it, I guess, too. We'll just uh, just kind of tell you a little bit about us. But uh, what crazy markets. Let's see what happens tomorrow. I mean, uh, you would think that uh, silver would kind of just like pause for a little bit. But, man, I just don't know. I just don't know. Uh, I'm even confused. And usually, uh, but we're in really dynamic times. So it's easy not to be able to figure this stuff out. Overall, though, and uh, again, I don't think we're going to see prices fall for any period of time. But again, I expect to pull back. I keep saying that. Maybe I should just shut my mouth as far as a pullback and just realize that most of us aren't going to hit it when it does pull back and uh, it ain't going to stay there long. Uh, anyways, I, I say even at these prices, you can't go wrong buying as long as you're not paying. It's too stupid of a premium. Uh, this is Brian Kuzmar from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea. Not too sunny today, but it's still a beautiful day even when it's not sunny. Uh, call us anytime at 954-493-8811. Uh, we have a real brick and mortar store in Lauderdale by the Sea. Been here a long time. This location since 19, 1995. I've been doing this down here in South Florida since 1977, second generation. I know my stuff as far as coins and precious metals and other things. We also do things like uh, we have an estate jewelry business uh, that's right next to us at this jewelry and uh, other type things. So keep us in mind of that as well. Like I said, call us anytime between 10 a.m., 4 p.m., Mondays through Fridays, or just come in. We're here. Happy to help you. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's see what happens tomorrow. And if you've got any comments or questions, put them in the comments section. I'm happy to answer. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Have